What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Got Ryan here. Yeah. And it's uh, 11.41, so we open in about 20 minutes. We just finished grabbing all of the orders, minus two games that we cannot find, unfortunately. Um, doesn't happen all the time, but every now and then, someone will order a game, and we just cannot find it anywhere. Whether it sold, or it got misplaced, or um, someone stole it, um, probably not in this case. Uh, the two games we could not find today, there's NCAA College Football 2K3 with no manual for the GameCube. It's a $5 game. And the other one is... Metal yeah, Metal Gear Solid for PS1. Um, can you check in the back stock again? Because I looked, I didn't see it, but might as well have two sets of eyes. Um, there's only three spots where Metal Gear Solid could be. It should be in the glass case if it's done. It's not there. It could be in the resurfacing pile if it recently came in. It's not there. And if we had multiple copies, we would end up putting some in the back stock. But I just looked back there. I didn't see any games that started with M. So, yeah, can't find those. Those people are going to get refunds for those two, unfortunately. Unless we can find them, of course. But I highly doubt it. Um, so, we have have a couple things to show you already. I'm looking in the glass case again, just in case. We have Mega Man X4, Mega Man 8. Those are the only games that start with M-E. So, um, we, I did a Facebook Marketplace deal this morning, had the guy meet me here, and I picked up for the store, Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. It's a game that is really popular. We we don't get it too often, and every time we do, it sells right away. And then we also got a cartridge and box copy of Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. Box is in pretty good condition. It's not not perfect, but it's not bad. I was hoping we had a manual. Ryan looked through, and we don't. Um, so still pretty good stuff. Can't complain about those. So we're gonna gonna continue to look for those games, and we're gonna get some stuff shipped. And uh, yeah, hopefully the website will be fixed ASAP. We have a few trades to show you guys from today so far. Nothing too special. From two separate trades, <laughs> we got two sealed nunchucks. What are the chances? Then we have uh, Star Wars Clone Wars, Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City, San Andreas, Undead Nightmare, Borderlands 2, Batman Arkham City, Resistance 3, Call of Duty 3, Resistance Fallen Man. And then we have some DVDs and Blu-rays here. We have Solo, A Star Wars Story. This is factory sealed. The disc is loose inside the case. I tried my best to, to get it back into place, and I can't. Um, Lion King, Blu-ray, still factory sealed as well. So it's got the, digi the digital code still in there. Two sealed copies of Rise of the Tomb Raider for the 360. Uh, Rogue One, Star Wars Story, sealed DVD. And then these are all sealed as well. Um, Dragon Ball Super Part 10, Part 9, Part 8, and Part 7. So these are the last four from the thing. There is parts one through six as well. We just did not get those. Um, so that all came from two or three people. This is the newest trade. This came from someone else. We have Madden 15, Kingdom Hearts. Um, it's the story so far. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Detroit Become Human, Assassin's Creed Origins. The, he said these were in storage. They all need to be wiped down. A little gross. Jump Force, Borderlands Handsome Collection, Far Cry Primal, uh, Naruto, what is it, Shippuden? Yep, Shippuden. Ninja Storm 4, Borderlands 3, and MLB 14 The Show. How you doing? Doing good. Yeah. yeah. It's still really cold in here, Ryan. <laughs> no, it's perfect. It was 67 degrees in here earlier. It's Ryan loves the cold, but that's too cold. It's perfect. It needs to go up one more. Nah, it's good. Up, yeah. up, Ryan. But then yeah, it's cold, and it's raining out there, and we're and we're slow today. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> but we have a ton of sales on the website, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's making up for it. We've been pulling orders and getting some stuff shipped. A lot of this stuff right here sold that we still need to ship. So we're working on that right now. Hi, Abby. <laughs> we have a couple more trades to show you guys. This was in earlier when I filmed the other trades, but I forgot to show it because it was over here. We have Far Cry 3, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, and then we have a bunch of strategy guides. 
Soul Nomad, Final Fantasy 12. These should be on the website because these wouldn't have pictures. Um, Final Fantasy 8, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance, Final Fantasy 10. There is a rip right here, though, that is noted in the title. Final Fantasy Origins, that one's probably the coolest one in my opinion. And then these two are newer, but since they don't really make a lot of strategy guides anymore, they're all collector's editions, and they're pretty expensive. You have the Final Fantasy XV Complete Official Guide Collector's Edition. Not cheap. But then this one, the Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age Collector's Edition Guide. And these came from the original owner. It's got all the little extra stuff in there. This one has this little thing. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then we just got this, which we wouldn't normally take, but this is the full band bundle for Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock for the Wii. Everything, as you can see right here, it's it's marked down, trust me. Um, sold listings are up to like three to 350. So the box is opened, as you can see, but everything inside is still sealed. So it's an open box, but everything is new. This is not on the website. We are not shipping this. Don't even ask. <laughs> uh, but hopefully someone will be interested in that. If not, we'll just take it home. We will get at least five messages asking. Yeah, we got it. a message earlier. I was telling Ryan, I was like, <laughs> some people are like watching the video and then pausing it and they're not watching the rest because I said with the, with like the stuff, I was like, these GameCube games are not on the website because it's messed up right now. Please do not message us about them because we already have a ton of messages anyway. And then I get notifications on my phone that people are sending us messages asking about some of the stuff. And I said in the video, if you do that, I'm not going to reply because <laughs> we can't get back to all the messages anyway. Can't be spending the time replying to those types of messages. But uh, yeah, so the Guitar Hero thing, it's going to have to go somewhere up top here. There's a little gap. I don't know if it's going to fit, but we'll find find room for it and if it ends up not selling like i'm gonna leave it here for a while but if it ends up not selling and we have moved and have a nice big game room we can add it to the collection all right guys so we've been closed for quite some time as soon as we closed i had to take abby back to the emergency room uh she's fine um, i want to say that up front she's fine um if you guys remember like a month ago or however long ago it was uh we took abby to the emergency room because she was having uh, some really bad pain, and they thought that it was pancreatitis. And that is pretty much what it is. I, um, she has gallstones, and that that causes the pancreatitis. So um, she had a follow-up appointment after our first visit to the ER where the doctor was an idiot, basically, uh, he, she was supposed to get an ultrasound on her pancreas and the guy didn't do it. He just kept talking about birth control for some reason. And she was like, it was really stupid. Um, anyway, she's had a few other appointments, um, and things have not, things just have not been handled. Um, not from lack of us trying. Um, it's just whatever, I don't know what, what anyone's doing, but they were not doing their job. So um, Abby has been having the pain for a few hours pretty much every single day. It happens at night mostly. Um, but then for the past couple of days, it's been constant. She's had the pain the entire time. You guys have probably noticed you haven't seen her in the videos very much recently, and this is why. Um, so we went in. They did the ultrasound there. And she does have the gallstones and she is most likely like 99% most likely she's going to have to have her gallbladder removed. That is a surgery that needs to be done. It's going to be done soon. We don't have all the details yet. Um, she's got some pain medication prescribed to help keep her comfortable until that happens. It's going to be very soon, like within the next week, um, a couple days if possible. So Obviously, you're not really going to see a lot of her in the videos coming up. This is why. Just understand that she's okay. Of course, we'll keep you guys updated, let you guys know what's going on. But um, she is going to be fine. Um, it's just 
the the thing that is worrying us both obviously number one is her health we want to make sure that she's that she's healthy and she's safe and everything is going to be fine and it is um the doctors are not like worried they're not you know nothing's going to happen she's going to be okay um but the the cost is a huge factor and um so there's a few different options that we're looking at. I'm not going to give you guys all the details. It's, it's not important. Um, so, um, yeah, just, you're not going to see her. That's why, um, I was going to stay late tonight to try to work on getting some more stuff in the system. That of course is not happening. We left, actually we closed like 10 minutes early and I took her, um, and we just got back to the store to finish up some things before we head home. It's almost 11 PM. So, that's not happening tonight. Um, and I, there's always one person, but I do not mention the cost of the of the medical stuff. I am not mentioning that whatsoever in any way, shape, or form for anyone to feel like they need to somehow donate money or anything like that. Um, the only reason I mention it is because if that wasn't a factor, she would be having the surgery tomorrow morning at at the emergency at the hospital that we were just at. Um, the last time we went there though, we got the bill for that already and it's a lot of money. So there's other cheaper options that we are exploring. Do not send us any type of donations. Do not send us any money. We do not need that. The store makes enough money for us to be able to cover everything perfectly fine. Um, so please do not do that. If you If you send money, I will send it back to you. So do not do that. But I do want to let you guys know what's going on. I want to keep you guys in the loop and updated. Obviously, Abby's my girlfriend. I love her very much. And she is a big part of, you know, not only my life and the store and everything, but of the YouTube channel as well. And she cares about you guys as well. And she doesn't want to be keeping secrets and hiding things from you guys. So she gave me permission to tell you all this. And we just want to say she's going to be all right. She's going to be fine. Um... But you're not going to see her very much in the next few days. And we will keep you guys up to date on everything. So with that said, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.